doing the same thing my great-grandfather did with the Model T. We're bringing leading-edge technology to the market on a larger scale. We're offering a range of electrified vehicles because we recognize that our customers will have a range of needs that can't be satisfied by any one solution. With a wheelbase of just over 104 inches, it's a five-passenger unit that can work as an around-town or commute car for the environmentally conscious driver. There are some drawbacks, however, with the second row used for seating. There's only 19 cubic feet of cargo space in order to make room for a lithium-ion battery pack. That powers an electric motor rated at 118 horsepower, along with an aluminum 2.0 liter Atkinson-style four-cylinder gas engine rated at 141 horsepower, and the total output delivery is 188 horsepower, and it earns partial zero emission status with this configuration. In real-world driving, we found the system using a CVT gearbox could compete well in city and highway driving. Fuel economy is right at the promised 40 mile per gallon combined number. But even in stop-and-go traffic, there's a range of nearly 500 miles to a full tank and a full charge on the battery. But we were disappointed that in full electric mode, the C-Max only has a range of 19 miles. That is where better battery technology needs to become a priority. Our test car was of course a fully loaded model with a panoramic moonroof among other options that raised the sticker price. But if Ford wants to keep that promise made by its chairman, it would be good to make this technology available in an entry level vehicle if the brand wants to repeat the success of the Model T. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.